guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a freaking minute, but we're going to talk about it in this video. I am going to be recreating um, an old look that I did, the first colorful look I did um, after I started playing with makeup. So I'm going to pop that up on the screen and that's what I'm going to be recreating tonight. The first part, I'm just going to speed through. It's going to be like a time lapse of like me doing my skin and I will like pop on the screen descriptions for... Um, what products I'm using and what products I've been loving right now. Also, if you see my hands at any point and um, you're like, wow, that's really crusty, um, I promise I use lotion. I just work at the hospital and I'm a germaphobe. And um, so, yeah, <laughs> don't mind that. Like, we're just a skelly, we're a skelly queen, okay? Like, so I'm gonna do the base part of my makeup and you will see that I'll put the products I'm using on the screen so yeah let's get into it and wish me luck I haven't done eyeshadow in a minute like it's been a while and I don't even know like do I even know how to anymore like at this point do we even know how to anymore also we gotta have a talk really quick um because I just did the dumbest thing I have to share it with you guys because I laugh at my pain. Anyway, so I just spent like, I'll insert like a blooper clip of me wrestling with this ring light for like 15 minutes because my coloring looked normal, but there was kind of more shadows than I wanted. So I was like, I'm going to go get my ring light and bring it in here. But then when I came back, I looked yellow and I was like, maybe it's the light reflecting off my shirt because this is like a yellow tinted shirt. And I couldn't figure out, like, I kept moving the ring light to different places. And I was like, I honestly don't know what to do, like. And so I gave up. And then I just realized that um, I'm filming on my iPad and it went to um, nighttime mode. Because it's 1.30 in the morning. And so I wasn't actually yellow. The display was yellow. Anyways. I'm really gonna get into it now. I just want to let you know that I'm very happy to know that I'm not yellow for real. But yeah, that was really dumb, and I had to share it with you guys because self humiliation.
my base yet, but this is like where I like to get myself before I do my, my eyeshadow because it gives me like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the order I do it, but it makes me feel like halfway put together because sometimes if I do eyeshadow first without anything on my face, I'm like, and I really hate it until I put on makeup. So that can be like discouraging. I can feel like I'm like, it's really ugly look. And I've actually like taken eyeshadow completely off because I've been like, ew. So I'm going to start by, I had a little bit of concealer that like I got on my eyes, but I want to make sure there's more because this is a colorful look. So I'm going to put this on as our eyeshadow primer. Um, it works for me. I don't have like an actual like separate um, eyeshadow primer because I just don't feel like it's necessary and I don't want to have to add more steps to my makeup if like one thing or one product, you know, can do two things for me. It's just extra work, you know? So, um, yeah. And it's cheaper as well, you know? You don't have to spend money on something else when you already are going to be using it on your face. You don't need a whole other um, product. So, I need to look at the picture. I have like a general idea. I'm going to be trying to use mostly um, my ColourPop So Jaded palette. It looks like this. I actually haven't got to play with it much. It looks like it's been used to death, but it really hasn't. Um, so, on one eye I have, I don't know, is it, it's like flipped, so I need to do it. I don't remember, the eyes might be backwards to be honest with you because I don't it flips it. So if this is my left eye, this should be my right eye. I'm pretty sure. But I've been wrong before. Anyway, so I have my like greenish, like turquoise bluey side on my right eye and my purple pink eye on um the other eye. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Um so I'm gonna set that there so I can see. And I'm gonna dip into actually don't have a matte purple. I only have a shimmer purple. I'm about to have to swatch and see. I might have to also use part of my Truly Madly Deeply palette. That's purpley. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know if it'll pick up. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer, but it's not like a shimmery, like glittery eyeshadow. So I'm thinking I'm going to use that. On my outer I always start on my outer corner um, and work my way in so I'm going to use my M433 brush it's the one eyeshadow brush that I swear by and that I could literally do like a whole eyeshadow look only using it I prefer not to but if I had to only use one eyeshadow brush it would be it because I can use it for my whole eyeshadow so we're gonna put that on and Start um, packing that one in the corner. That's pretty. So I'm going to place it like softly because it can quickly get to my eyebrow because I don't have a ton of lid space. So I lean my head back um, because that gives you you can use more of your lid than like if you're this way you can't see what you're doing so if you kind of lean your head back you can um use your lid space in a way that you know makes a tiny eyelid less tiny does that make sense um also when you take pictures if you're trying to get a good picture of your eyeshadow always kind of lean back because if you have eyes like me where look it's like gone boom you have a little more you know what i mean so yeah, pro tip from um, an intermediate level. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to do this. And then next I'm going to go in. This is going to end up being two palettes. I'm sorry. I'm going to go in with the shade Poodle um, from this palette as well. And um, bring that next in like over the lid. So I'm going to work on pulling that color in and blending together. I'm going to probably use the same brush for right now and um, I'm gonna kind of speed through
through this part so you can just watch but I have to really concentrate and it might take a minute because I haven't done eyeshadow in a minute and I'm going slow so I don't mess up. stuff is like orange sometimes and I'm swear I'm like that's red or like purple and I'm like that's definitely pink you know what I mean is that only me Ooh, I look so ugly right now just we're gonna fix it okay just like stick with the vision um the best way I like to do my shimmers is just we're gonna slap them on the lid it looks red to me but we're gonna throw it on here as a colorful look 
we'll do what we want. It's ruby though, so it probably is red, right? It's called ruby. I need a freaking pink. I'll be right back. I was trying to not be that person to use like a million different eyeshadow palettes, but there's not like a pink shimmer that I can use. Because these are all, like I could use this one, but it's not as much a pink as like a, like a coppery kind of vibe. Um, ugh, I wasn't wanting to use a million palettes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have two options. Both the Jaclyn Hill Blot palettes are where I'm pulling from. So I have Pizzazz. I don't know what that's described as, but that kind of, it's also like 1.30 in the morning, so it's not good lighting in here, but that doesn't look really pink. Um, that is out of the Bling Boss Jaclyn Hill Blot palette. Or I have Lolly. And I just feel like we should go Lolly for sure. For sure. So that's what we're going to do. And that one is out of the Ring of the Alarm palette. I'm showing you this for you guys to know like, doing an eyeshadow look, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Doing an eyeshadow look isn't. Like, you see all these looks on Instagram and you're like, wow, like, why can't I do that? You probably can, but you literally have to sit down and, like, the, the more, like, colorful, bold looks like this and, like, even looks that are, like, neutral, but they're in, like, a way that I've never done before, um, they take time and they take swatching colors and they take, like, looking at yourself and being like, is that what we want? Like, is that what we're going for today, sweetie? And, um, it doesn't always work. I'm not gonna lie to you, but, but, like, just stick with it. If you're doing a look, I don't know how many times I've stopped, like, doing a look. And it probably could have turned out fine, but I was just like, ew, this is the grossest thing I've seen. I've looked like a clown. Just like stick with it and see how it turns out. Unless you like have to go to work, then like fin take it off. Um, and actually don't do creative looks when you're about to go to work. Because I've looked crazy a few times and it's okay. I think people expect it from me because I'm like, they look like no, I do makeup. But I feel like it's not the time. Like you just need to sit down and do that outside of when you're getting ready like you want to be able to sit there and like really commit is this pink i could pull these up on ulta and read the description or morphe or something but i'm not going to because i'm just gonna trust you know what i could also do that i'm not doing for a reason um, I could use the original palette that I used when I did the look, and I know exactly the shades I did. Um, fun fact, I know what shades I used because, number one, I tagged them in my Instagram comments. Number two, there's only a few colorful shades in that palette, and I could use that palette and come up with the same look. But I didn't want it to be the same. I wanted to see like what recreation I could do and like possibly improve it. It's not looking like an improvement right now. So I don't want to hear about it. Okay. It doesn't look that good right now. But just like stick with me. This is like I said. I haven't done makeup in like a minute. So like hold your horses. Okay. It's fugly right now. But like, give me a minute. Okay. Give me a brief intermission.
brush. I don't know why that's hard for me to say right now. Probably because I'm going to reiterate it's 1.30 in the morning. Anyways, um, and with no product on it, and just go very softly on the edges to make sure everything looks very blended and, um, you know, not harsh. No harsh edges. We don't want that. And you just do it really lightly. Light pressure, because if you do too much, you can kind of, like, blend too much. Um, and that'll make um, all the work you just did kind of go away. And so, I'm going to um, keep working on my face. I think I'm like mainly done with the eyes. They look crazy right now, but I don't have mascara on. And I'm going to finish up some additional touches on my face. Um, and I think it'll all come together. But this is what we have. I need to put some um, eyeshadow right there because... It looks like an empty spot. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, I'm probably going to do lashes. I don't know, know if I want to do that commitment right now, but probably. So just keep watching. <laughs> lashes can make just wait a minute okay so the lashes are on the glue is still kind of drying but like wow the difference they make y'all like the difference a good lash makes um that was a struggle by the way i don't want to tell you how long that took me to get those on and pop the same highlight shade i used and here's the thing y'all it looks really crazy in this lighting i mean it's a crazy makeup look it's not for the faint of heart um, but not only does it look really crazy right now, um, I did this for pictures. So anything that you do makeup wise in a picture, you kind of want to overdo it a little bit because, um, picture, 
Uh, whoa, I did that a lot. I'm gonna just chill that out a little bit. Um, because pictures um, always kind of wash out a little bit. Um, so anything you do, just kind of like, you know, do it, like commit. Um, because if you want it to show up well in the in the pictures, you just need to fully like full send because um, you'd be shocked. Like this looks like hella blush. It also looks like hella blush because this lighting is not like ideal by any means. Uh, this is the finished look. I'm going to take my hair down. I got to get the finished freaking lash glue off my fingers. I'm like... Um, and I will insert videos as well in a different lighting so you can kind of see like that I'm not lying. I promise it's not atrocious. I mean, it might not be your cup of tea, but like it's not bad. It just looks kind of crazy in here and you're like, why would you film in here if it looks crazy, Kelly? Well, I'm going to reiterate one more time that it is, um, like 1.30. It was 1.30 when I started. It's probably like 2 something at this point. 2.49. So I've been filming for over an hour. Um, and there's no good lighting anywhere right now, you know? Also, I, um, didn't really talk about it much because I ended up having to concentrate a little more than I thought I would, um, because I hadn't done this in a minute. I just want everyone to know that, um, I know this is a hard time right now. I'm sorry that people are out of work, um, and having a hard time, and I know it's a very, you know, a time of the unknown. Um, and I want you guys to know that if anybody needs to reach out and talk to me, um, you can do that by commenting below or DMing me on Instagram. I'm always a good listening ear and I'd love to hear you if you're having any like emotional or mental problems. Um, and of course I would keep that, um, in confidence, um, between us. Um, I know it's a really hard time, but I hope this kind of, um, gave you a a little bit of a getaway and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to insert the videos, but um, like I said, I hope you have a blessed day or night, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you on the next one. So this goes to show I'm in a really weird angle. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Um, but this goes to show that this look turned out really cool and it doesn't look super crazy. Um, if you see any glue, like I don't know how to get it off without taking the eyelash off and it's too hard for me to get eyelashes on to be doing that right now. Um, but I really like how it turned out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to include my recreation pictures. Uh, but yeah. So I just was watching the footage and I just wanted to film this and show you that my eyes are like even. The blue side looks like it's way higher than the pink side in the video, but it's just because I have my leg turned and my legs are kind of crossed. So they look crazy, but I promise you they're like the same height. Um, and it was really bothering me, so I just had to clarify that. And I'm glad I caught it before I took my makeup off because I would have been so insecure. And you would have thought I was a fraud.